What's up guys, Justin here with TechBusters IT Solutions. So last week Intel released some big news about a serious bug that was causing some unexpected system crashes. This bug only affects chips based on their Skylake architecture which was released back in August of last year in 2015. So the bug only affects these systems when they are under heavy load from stress testing applications like Prime 95. As of Friday last week, numerous manufacturers of motherboards including ASRock and Gigabyte have released BIOS updates to rectify that issue. All those links will be in the description below so make sure you guys check those out. So with this news I wanted to review how to check and see if your BIOS needs updating. So if you guys like this video or you learned something new please make sure you hit the like button or subscribe to our channel for weekly tech tips and updates. So the first thing you need to do is you actually need to identify what version your, what version your BIOS is running. So there's two ways you can really do this very easily. One is if you open up command prompt and type in LMS info 32. So it opens up your system information. Now it'll tell you what BIOS version you're running right here under BIOS version slash date. As you can tell I'm running American Megatrends Inc. F2 last updated on 9-17-2012. So that's one way you can tell. And another way is right here. Uh, if you open up another command prompt window and type, and these commands will be down in the description below so you guys don't have to worry about pausing the video or anything like that. But if you run that command right here in this window, it'll also tell you that your BIOS version is F2. Alright, so now we know what BIOS version we're running. Now it's time to go check and make sure that it's the most current. So you need to go out to your motherboard's manufacturer's website and go to mainly their support or download section and you'll need to start finding uh, your motherboard so a lot of this information um, a lot of people may forget and there, I'm going to show you guys a way to retrieve all this information make sure you uh, are are updating the correct uh, motherboard so based here I've got an FM2 socket with an AMD chip and there's my uh, motherboard serial number so here's a way you can guys you guys can figure that out as well. Like I said, I'll have all this stuff in the uh, in the description below. There's actually two ways you can figure this out. You can run this command and command prompt, or you can download CPUZ and it'll tell you in a graphical in a, uh, a graphical way. So if you run this command right here, it'll tell you that I've got a Gigabyte Technology uh, manufactured motherboard. Here's my product number. The serial number needs to be filled out by the OEM, but that's something that we can figure out on the website and the version number it doesn't tell us but we already know that's F2 up here so there you have it that's how you can determine it of course go out back out to the website and uh, look at the different versions of BIOSes and that's not the right one let's see here we go so as you can tell F2 is a, a little dated back in 2012 and there have been numerous updates since then all the way up to F6E. So my BIOS needs to be updated. In my next video I'm going to show you guys how to update, actually update the BIOS um, based on your motherboard. Some motherboards allow you to do it over the air type of deal and some actually require you to flash them with a flash drive. We'll go over both versions of that in the next video. Like I said guys, if you like the video, you learned something, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Thanks guys, see you next week.